Hey dudes, I'm Hyla, and today on Hyla Cooking, I have a really easy and unusual breakfast recipe to share with you. It's like a meatloaf, but you eat it for breakfast. It's called a breakfast meatloaf. So what a breakfast meatloaf is, is pork sausage mix, which we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to make that from scratch, and then we're gonna shove a couple of boiled eggs in there, bake that whole thing off, and then when you cut it open, it looks like a rainbow, and it's guaranteed to be delicious. We're gonna start out by just making a real standard maple breakfast sausage mixture here. So I've got about a pound of ground pork. If you wanted to make this uh, lower fat, you could totally use uh, turkey or just a lean ground pork or something like that. Uh, some salt, some dried sage, paprika, and mustard powder, and black pepper. And I make mine a little bit more on the black pepper than you might find at a store. And if you wanted to do this recipe with a store-bought breakfast sausage, you could totally do that. I do not give a shit. Just kidding. I care very much about what you eat. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of maple syrup, just about a tablespoon. You don't want it to be, like, sweet, I think. I mean, maybe you do. You can add more. But I think just like this. So I'm going to mix this up. And then this is what... If you wanted to even just make this into patties and make your own maple breakfast sausage, you could totally use this recipe and just make it up into little patties. You don't have to make a whole meatloaf thing. It's kind of fun because, you know, that way you can, um, well, I don't know. It's fun! I don't know if it's really fun. But it's cool because then you can also, like I was saying, you can use turkey or something and make it lower fat if you want to. Uh, or make it milder or spicier or just, you know, do what you want and make it your own thing. Okay, once the spices are pretty incorporated into this, looking good, looking fine, I'm gonna add some egg, and this is just gonna help to bind it. Uh, I have made this without the extra egg in the filling, and it works okay. Uh, I just, I like the texture better with, with the egg, so whatever. A little bit of carrot, gotta get some veggies in there. Some onion. I'm going to add jalapeno, that was a lot, do what you want, some red or yellow bell pepper and some fresh parsley. And also if you wanted to do more of like a Mexican version of this, you could do chorizo sausage and add cilantro instead. Or you could make it Italian and add basil, or you could make it Greek and make it oregano. Just full of ideas today guys, just full of great ideas. Okay, just mix this up. Okay, so this is all mixed up Ugh. but I'm not even gonna bother washing my hands because I'm about to get them really dirty again a little flat baking sheet here um, you could do this in a loaf pan I guess but it cooks a little bit faster if you do it just free form so I'm gonna take about half my mixture a little bit less than half and shape it into sort of a long oval or a smooth sided rectangle whatever you like to call that in geometry class that's long enough to fit two hard-boiled eggs in there. And I'm gonna put it down like that. And then I've got these boiled eggs here that I have peeled, obviously. And I've got a few spinach leaves. And this is really just for color. I mean, there's a little bit of vitamins here, I guess, but probably not really much to count. So I'll just wrap it in some spinach leaves. You could totally leave this out if you wanted to. And then take another half of the remaining mixture and just start shaping it around the egg. And sort of like you were making, if you ever made a scotch egg, it's basically that. You could just do the same thing and do that and bake the eggs individually too. Okay, so I've got one egg covered. I'm gonna kind of set it down so it's lengthwise, this way, lengthwise, so that when I cut it, it looks extra pretty. Very visceral, guys. Just get on in there with your hands. It's like one of those haunted houses where you're blindfolded and you have to guess what it is that you're touching. Surprise, it's raw pork. That would be horrible. <laughs> okay. Set that down lengthwise. And then just use whatever is left to sort of fill in the little space and make it look like a meatloaf, guys. You know what a meatloaf looks like, right? I posed the question on Facebook to what would other people put in a breakfast meatloaf. And a lot of people said 
A lot of people suggested bacon. If you wanted to do that, that would be fine. You could just lay a few raw strips of bacon over this before you cook it. Um, I don't know, it seemed to maybe a little excessive with all the pork. So I'm just gonna bake it like this and then we'll pull it out, throw a little bit of a glaze on it before we serve it. So I'm gonna put it in the oven at 375 for about 30 minutes. Okay, bye. So it's baked for 30 minutes. You can see lots of <laughs> delicious stuff is coming out of it. That's okay, we're not gonna eat that part. I'm gonna make a little bit of glaze here with some maple syrup to touch. We don't want it to be too sweet. And then some cock sauce, cause it'll look pretty. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. Oh my gosh. Kind of a genius, guys. Awesome, so I'm just gonna put this back in the oven for about five minutes just to get that glaze all glazy. Okay. This looks exceptionally delicious, but it's also flaming hot. So I'm gonna let it cool here for maybe 10 minutes before I move it to my cutting board and then slice it up and show you what's inside. I'm starving. I'm not really. Pretty hungry though. Okay, it's been cooling about 10 minutes, so it's ready to slice. You can slice it as thick or as thin as you want. Look at that. Very, very beautiful and colorful. But let's get you a slice of egg inside so you can see what that looks like and it smells amazing. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. See that? Here, let me get this on a plate for you. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Guys, it's so pretty. It's almost like a rainbow, if a rainbow were flecked brown and yellow and white and maybe a little bit of green in there. Okay, enough yammering, let's do some eating. Mmm. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is really incredible. I seriously hope you try this. It would be so good with some hash browns on the side, some home fries, something like that. Oh wow, I mean, I even feel like it's kind of somewhat healthy. There's vegetables in it, right? And it's lean pork, so wow. Oh, I'm so impressed with myself. Just a pat on the back. And that sriracha glaze um, is fantastic with the pork also. So there you go, breakfast meatloaf. I hope you try this, I really do. And let me know what you think. If you have any questions about the recipe, leave them in a comment below and I'll respond as soon as I can. As always, printable recipes are available at highlookcooking.com and thanks so much for watching. Bye guys, see you later. <laughs> Nat, get out. Get out, you're ruining my show, Nat. Um.